Okay, Daryl. I think I got this thing purring like a kitten now. And you can see I got your uh, starlight thing working. Uh, I resoldered the connector that plugs into the back of the meter, and that all is seems to be working now. Hold my hand over it so you hopefully you can see it a little better. Yeah. Doesn't help much, does it? Um, let me see if I can't make it darker. I'll be right back. Okay. Got, got a cover sitting over top of it. Still ain't very dark. I've got the meter turned all the way down. Okay. I think I need to try to turn out my bench light, but leave. Leave the power supply on. Hang on a second. All right, I got all the bench lights turned out now. Uh, there's one more light. Let me turn out that other light. Okay, turned out that other light. And you can see it's showing up now. Pretty good. Anyway, I resoldered the connector that it plugs into and then reseated the cable. And it's working fine. Okay. Yeah. And I got rid of the squeal. I'll show you all that. I'll put it back together. I had the front of it all tore apart so I could get that to work. Um, let's see. Let me try closing this. the blinds okay that's washing out the camera all right more to come okay I took the face back off because I gotta uh, remount this thing and I can't get to these screw holes with the, the face plate on there so I'll mount that and put the face plate back on uh, I can't really do anything about this last digit being dim. You can see that the new LEDs on these radios are surface mount. Uh, and I don't have any. That's why I can't do anything about it. Uh, if it's too much of a problem, you can send it into Galaxy and they'll take care of it for you. And if they replace the radio rather than fix this one and send it back, you can just send it back to me and I'll uh, I'll do the mods on the new one for free. Galaxy's real good though about uh, leaving the stuff that you've got and trying to fix the uh, the radio. Um, same thing with the with the the starlight thing. If it goes out again, then uh, if your starlight goes out again, then you probably need to ship it to Galaxy and uh, let them put a new starlight face on it. Okay. All right. Now, let me mount this, get everything put back together, and I'll show you what the deal was, deal was with the squeal. Okay. More to go. Okay, Daryl. Uh, what I found was problem was in the talkback circuit uh, it, it didn't matter where you, if you just barely crack talkback on you'd get the squeal okay so they had two resistor values switched in the talkback circuit uh, I believe it was 224 and 221 they had the resistors reversed uh, so what I did was put new resistors in there and turn them back around the way that they should be. Okay. That's what the that's what was causing the squeal. 
if you turn the talk back off the squeal went away of course I'm sure you already know that uh, but right now you see where I got talk back set I'm on AM hey, hello one two three four five five four three two one audio testing testing audio audio one two one two audio sounds good and now I'm on sideband of course you get that little bit of sideband scratch in there audio hello hello audio one two three four five five four three two one audio testing testing audio test test audio audio one two test hello one two one two audio now let's see I think you had this or maybe I had it on channel 28 Hello, one two, one two, audio test, test audio. Now let me put the Ranger on that channel. Turn the RF gain up. On AM. Yep. Hello, hello, one two, one two, hello. And what you're hearing there is feedback from the microphone audio one two one two audio now let me turn off talk back so we can just listen to the transmitted audio on the ranger audio hello hello audio audio one two three four five five four three two one audio test sounds good no squeal let's go to sideband audio hello Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio testing, testing audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. I got to readjust your transmit meter because it's bouncing off the end over there now for some reason. Hello. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one two one two audio. Hello, audio. Okay. Test one two one two test. Hello, test. Check the modulation part of the meter now. Audio test test audio audio one two. Hello, test test audio. Audio testing, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. You're hearing that over the Ranger. Audio one, two, one, two, audio, test one, two. Hello, audio. Audio testing, testing one, two, three, three, two, one, audio test. Test one, two, one, two, test. Audio, hello. Ranger down, turn the talk back back on. Hello, one two, one two audio. Okay, and you can see there is no squeal now. Test one two, one two test audio testing, testing audio one two three four five five four three two one. Let's switch this guy here down to the fifty watt scale. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio testing. Nice, good, strong output, no squeal. Uh, and, well, I can't tell now if the, I got too much light in here, I can't tell if the starlight's working or not. All right, well, I'll switch the lights off and check it again here in a minute. But that last little digit right there, if you if you want that fixed, you're going to have to send that to uh, send it to Galaxy. I, I definitely see what you mean. That one gets dim before the other ones do. But like I said, I don't have another one to put in place of it. And that's that's definitely a factory thing, factory defect. Okay. All right, let me get the covers on. Hey, copy that. Okay. 
Well, uh, do you mind if I record our conversation so that I can uh, let the customer hear it? Uh, so that he can see that the radio is working pretty well. This is Lester uh, with Lester's Custom Truck Shop, Lescom, down here in Florida. Still got me, Florida. Yes, sir, I still got you. Okay, well, uh, this is 102 Lester down here in Florida with Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Just wondering if it was okay with you if I let the customer uh, uh, hear this conversation there, Roger. It's fine with me. I have no problem whatsoever. Okay, uh, let me hit the record button. And uh, it'll be on, uh, be on YouTube a little bit later on. And can you tell me how the audio sounds on this radio? <laughs> okay, well, I, I guess that's a good report then. All right. Well, your radio sure does sound good. That little CRE uh, 8900 is working well for you. I do appreciate your assistance on checking this one out. You're sounding awful good down here in Florida. 73 up there. This is Lester with Lester's Custom Truck Shop down here. We'll be on the side on your file. Check, check. Yeah, that was just the radio. Yeah, unfortunately the conditions are changing here and I lost the gentleman in Florida. So 73 from New York, 125, stand by. I'm out here, 125 in New York, 3765 Jacksonville, okay. 3765 in Florida, I can pick you up, come on. All right. So... The radio is working good. No squeal, no anything. Uh, yeah, let's see. Well, I'll put that back on that dummy load. Anyway, I'm going to get it boxed up and send back to you. All right. I think I got everything taken care of except for that digit. That digit right there is going to have to be replaced by Galaxy. Okay, Daryl. All right, buddy. I, I hope you enjoy your radio. 7-3. Playing around? Yeah, you know, turning knobs, uh, checking SWRs, uh, waiting for the next thunderstorm. Oh, Roger on the thunderstorm. Yeah, I had to disconnect my antenna just a minute ago. Hey, while I got you on here, uh, you heard me doing a radio check with a guy up in New York, right? Yeah, Roger that. Uh, good, clean copy. Okay, I'm on the same radio, just using a little stock hand mic. Does this sound okay to you? I'll copy that. Did you get a new radio? Well, the uh, 2995 I had, uh, I ended up toasting the finals on it. Ouch. Yeah, I said that and a few other choice words. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I was really uh, quite ticked off about it. Uh, I don't know how the heck I ended up doing it, but... Uh, that's the one I had all the work done on. It had the uh, solid state power supply and everything else put into it and uh, the modulation board and everything. And uh, it was running great, but I was uh, apparently pushing the thing too much. Well, either that or the bias was adjusted wrong on the finals, which will cause them to go out prematurely. I know the radio always sounded good when I talked to you. Okay, uh, you getting uh, your buddy down there to replace the finals for you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to throw any more money into that radio or not. Um, I was thinking about, uh, 
he was saying if you get the finals for me up in uh, Delaware, we're looking at about $250. And unfortunately, he's got almost a one-year wait, a backlog of work. I understand that. Uh, it's about the same over here there, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I was kicking around the idea of uh, offering him that other radio in exchange for doing the uh, upgrades on this one as far as the Mod Ford Mod Kit. Uh, this has already got the solid state power supply in it. The motherboard in this radio shows a QA sticker of uh, 2013, Roger. Copy that. It would be a good candidate. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised that uh, the dead key is set so low on this thing, but uh, I don't want to be putting my uh, screwdriver in there and messing with the damn thing. Uh, you know, you start losing these radios, it starts adding up real fast. Uh, yes, sir, I can understand that. And actually, a low dead key is pretty good uh, as long as it's about two watts somewhere around there. Yeah, um, let me see here. Uh, I think right, whoops, yeah, that's uh, probably about a 20 watt dead key, give or take, right there. Oh, I see what you're saying with the amp on, so you don't have a switch where you can turn the amp off. No, uh, all it has is the RF power uh, knob on it, and right now, one, two, three, I'm all the way down the bottom, and right now, that's maxed out, uh, that's as much as she's going to do. Okay, well, it's crystal clear. sidekick uh, came with the radio, so I've been using that. Uh, for some reason, the, uh, uh, the D104 just does not cut it on this radio. It seems to be uh, very tinny for some reason. I copy that. Well, could be that the microphone element in the circuitry in the microphone is not matched to the radio, and that sidekick is... Uh, is probably a better match. That's why it sounds better. But it does sound good. Sure does. All right. Well, let me get out of here and uh, get this video uploaded for this fellow and get his radio all boxed up and shipped back to him. Hey, it was good talking to you. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you around 38. Yeah, Roger, that used to work in the uh, crazy hours. No, actually, I went back to uh, working days. I appreciate that. All right, have a good one. And uh, yeah, we'll try to catch you on 38 probably tomorrow. Well, let's see. I might catch you on the way home tomorrow. Yeah, Roger that. Uh, I'm usually rolling in here about uh, 4 o'clock, give or take 4 o'clock, 4.15 myself, and turn the radio on and copy the mail. Copy that. All right, 7.30, have a good one. Lester, this is Ball Breaker recording this. This is Lester making it to New York City.